Hello Leo, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess, here to do your weekly reading from Sunday the 16th through to Saturday the 22nd of December, nearly at Christmas time. Sorry, my computer um, is dinging along in the background there, <laughs> um, which sometimes happens if I've got it on and I generally leave it on when I'm doing the weekly so I can just keep uploading. Um, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, you know how humbled I am by you all being around. I love it completely and utterly. Um, if you're a new subscriber, welcome on board. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here. Um, if my readings don't resonate, you know the drill. Check out your natal chart. Check out the other aspects of your um, birth chart. And if readings don't resonate, then move on. Um, no point in commenting. You're really... the it's spirit giving me the messages so commenting is pretty pointless if they don't resonate so do yourself a favor go and find someone who will resonate with you and move on sorry i'm very honest about that i just feel like it's crazy to get upset with readings when they don't resonate if they're not for you so just recognize they're not for you that's what it's all about okay leo i am using the gilded tarot by chiro marchetti um, well loved cards from me no I'm not I am not using the Chiro Marchetti deck now I'm thinking do spirit want me to use those I'm using no I use the witch's tarot sorry I am using the witch's tarot okay <laughs> so very funny okay we have the card of the past here um, this is past energy. This is your energy for the week. Um, I would have said don't think it's somebody coming back from the past because honestly people go all the time, I don't want someone back from the past. Well, don't take them. It's that simple. Um, but I'm pretty sure it might be with that sitting here. And you've also got the page of cups behind that and a brand new start. So I want to say to you with those cards sitting there, very likely you have someone returning to make an offer to you. And it's very likely it could be a Pisces or a water sign here. Brand new start, clarity, apology coming. You've got a mini read here. Something coming very quickly, some sort of message and um, offer coming very quickly here. It's someone you know already. So there you go. So I said you're going to get a mini read on top of your read there, guys. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's get on with your reading. Um, I was going to say let's get cracking then and I thought, ah, then you'll think it's the weekly read. I better put this card back where it should be. Beautiful. Let's go. Okay, first card out is the Emperor. Now, the Emperor is a man who is the culmination of all the kings. He has all the beautiful attributes of a king. He is patient, loving, family man. He's wealthy, he's wise, he's uh, wearing a lot of armour in this picture. Um, so that implies that he is very protected spiritually. Um, he can be one half or the masculine half of a twin flame. He can also be a man who is very stuck in his ways and a little bit controlling because of the fact he has so much power. So this could be somebody you're dealing with this week or it could be you and your energy, Leo. Okay, and then we have a Knight of Cups coming in. Now the Knight of Cups is an offer. And this could be from a Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer, um, from a water sign. Um, the Knight of Cups is, look, he's bringing a, a message of love. But this isn't about a message. This is an actual offer of love. Because as a knight, he's a man of action. He's not just the tentative email or a little bit of a, you know, how you going, mate? <laughs> no, he's in there. He's giving you an offer here. So, um yeah, I, I mean, in that little mini read, you were getting an offer and it was coming from a water sign in the mini read. So it's very interesting. I don't look at the mini reads for that reason. So here we have you closing out a cycle. So I would say you're some of you are getting an offer from someone. Your emperor could be your twin flame this week. I know Virgo had a lot of twin flame energy on their reading. Um, this is about closing out a cycle. For me, it feels like you're closing out the cycle of being single to move into a relationship here. Sometimes this can be a closing out of like the metaphorical cycle, like closing out negativity, um, uh, negative relationships, maybe moving into a positive relationship, which would be really nice. Um, maybe closing out something around yourself, maybe going on holidays with this person. You could decide to go on a bit of a holiday. You might meet this person on holiday. 
but this is the person you're supposed to be with here coming to make you an offer. Now we have a hermit here and the hermit has been out in just about every reading. So I truly understand that a lot of us on the journey this week will be going inside to have a look at what it is we want from our journey. Maybe some of us have had contact from people or people coming in and we want to make sure now that we're on the right path and we're lighting the way to make sure that we've got the right path that we want to walk down. You know, somebody said once that you don't ever walk down the wrong path, you walk down the path you've chosen. Um, I don't know that that is, maybe we do choose every path we walk down. Maybe it just is destiny when we pick a path that doesn't work out the way we want it to. But whatever it is, it's about learning lessons there and understanding your journey. Okay, lovely, 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 Leo. Look at this. You've got a wish coming in. Um, something happening here to bring in your wishes. I like it a lot. You're getting a very nice reading here. Okay, I have you wanting to work on something with somebody. So you're definitely getting an offer here. Um, I could have just left it at the mini read then, couldn't I, without giving you all the detail. This is about you working with someone in partnership. Um, this could still be a reading that's not necessarily about love. This could be about um, life itself, can be a journey you're on to um, move into something you want to do. Could be your own business here. Definitely looking at um, maybe an offer at going in partnership with someone. Uh, maybe someone's father has offered the money to move into some sort of something else. There could be an offer here from somebody to work on some sort of project here. That emperor could represent someone who's in a position to offer you money. Maybe this cycle is closing out, you know, working for somebody else and being able to take this offer from this person and work for yourself. Bit of, bit of soul searching here though, in this hermit before you take this offer. I think you've wished for it, but you're not really sure whether it's the right way to go. And honey, it is, look at that. Wheel of fortune coming in here. Um, this says to me that you're definitely going in the right direction here. This is about karma, payback, equaling the playing field, moving in the right direction. Beautiful. Look at this. Ace of Wands. Beautiful. Um, rebirth. Coming into a new time. This is all about getting what you want here, Leo. Definitely moving in the right direction here. Your wishes are coming true. Whether this is love, business, work, some sort of opportunity here definitely moving in the right direction and look at you go using your intuition so you know already you're going in the right direction you're fully understanding you're using your gut here you're using your gut to understand the way you're going so okay I'll do a big recap before we put the last card down because I'm quite liking doing it that way while I'm on here um okay so the first card you had out was the six of cups this is something to do with your past or childhood Definitely a brand new start from an offer being offered here. It's coming in very quickly, even with the little bit at the beginning. So somebody who's coming up as an emperor here is coming to make you an offer. Whether that be an offer of love, an offer of business, an offer of a job, whatever it is, you're closing out some cycle here. You're going inside with this hermit energy to make sure it's the direction you want to go in here. Because this is sort of like your wish has landed in your lap, but you're just a little unsure about it but I can tell you now that this is here for you to be working on the universe is pushing something in your favor here um, so for me it's definitely the right way to go whatever you're being offered whether that is a relationship or not um, the ace of wands here in the wish card tells me you're bringing in a brand new start here um, if this is twin flame energy it would make sense with the high priestess here because this is about you um, understanding your your intuition understanding the way you're being led the universe is is doing this for you so this is about like divine intervention here something that you've manifested here um that some sort of karmic some sort of karmic return is what i'm being told um but definitely a brand new start and you're going forward with this whole new energy here in this high priestess so if you've been looking at a business especially for those going into esoteric businesses um creative arts any of those things here you're definitely on the right path so if you were doubting it and thinking about it here I would say to you that your creativity here is what is really shining in this three of pentacles it's about creative creative art look at this and money 
it's about money too. That is absolutely beautiful. So what we've got here is a is a reward that's come out of doing good work, being a good person. You're getting what you deserve here. There's a wish coming true, whether that's love, work, business, it doesn't matter here. You're getting a wish coming true and it's bringing in stability and financial support for you too here. Beautiful reading, Leo. Beautiful reading. Oh, let's see if we can pick a nice oracle card to go on that, please, Spirit. Definitely been doing some good work here. Definitely an offer coming in for you. And it's really quick because the Eight of Wands came out in the beginning there. So it could possibly come in within this week. But if not, it's very close. So for those who are watching, be watch, standing at the door waiting for something lucrative and full of drive and passion is coming in for you. Something you really love here. Something you've been wishing for. Okay, so what have we got? Love from your parents. No matter what, your mother and father love you as much as they can. Now, I'm not really sure who that's for because it's not for the reading, but somebody out there needs to hear that. And I always say when a card comes out like that, somebody needed to hear that today. So there you go. So remember that. Okay, now can we have a card for the reading, please? Oh, yes. Okay, creative. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. So it talks about draw, paint, think and act in creative ways. And that's what I was saying to you here. If this is a creative endeavour you're doing here, you're definitely travelling in the right direction. It's definitely going to make you good money. You're going to be abundant by moving in this direction. So Leo, fabulous reading for this week. Go be creative and bring in that lovely dosh. Thanks. <laughs>